Hey guys, today I will be uh, bleeding the brakes uh, on my motorcycle. So in this video, I will be basically flushing uh, the old fluid with, with the new one. I'm not uh, running the system completely dry. So do keep that in mind. So the first uh, nipple I'm gonna bleed is the left front upper nipple. But before that, uh, let me show you, I have put rags and towels everywhere just in case there is a spill. And brake fluid is quite corrosive. We are all protected here. And now I'm going to open the master cylinder. Okay, so now it is connected to the left upper front uh, bleed valve. And uh, the hose, air hose is already connected over here. Now I'm going to uh, open the regulator knob on the compressor. So that will pressurize this, this line right here. And then I will depress this lever and hold it uh, with this clip right here, okay? I will pressurize the whole system, the, the entire system. I will pressurize the entire system. Once it is uh, pressurized, only then I will uh, open the bleed valve. Sorry guys, I didn't realize that my GoPro camera shut down unexpectedly. I was wearing a head strap mount and I didn't realize that my camera was off. But I will describe the procedure via pictures. In sequence 1, I bled the left front upper nipple surrounded by a red box in the picture. I flushed this bleed valve several times until I was only seeing the new fluid coming out in the bleeder tube. I then closed the valve and pumped the lever until I had a firm feeling of the lever. There was no spongy feeling. I then bled the right front nipple and followed the same procedure. At the end, I filled the front reservoir and secured it with plate, cap and screws. In bleed sequence 2, I bled the left front center nipple followed by the rear nipple. I did notice air bubbles in the bleeding tube. Those air bubbles are most likely from the threads of the bleeder valve. In my experience, pumping the levers made a significant difference in the firmness of the levers. At the end, I also used a zip tie to keep the brake lever pressurized for a few hours to purge any possible air bubbles. In my situation, the levers were already very good. I did go on a test ride and everything was working fine. So this was my experience presented in this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and ride safe.